I'm just gonna get it. It falls upon me to goddamn it. You get shit you about your fucking manga. We're up. playing a video game. Now comes with Lordy. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> fuck. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting my earbud back in. Ugh. Now you rip mine out. God damn it, I'm horrible. <laughs> oh, man. We have the greatest professional YouTube setup. Of all time. Maybe you get, maybe have you, um, do you have one of those, like, dual headphone jacks, whatever? Yeah, we've thought about that, but, like, that's as far as we've gotten. <laughs> you thought about it. <laughs> yeah, like, that's good, good enough. Idea. You just didn't get up the chair. Just like, hey. <laughs> Basically. Sure be that's, good that's, one day. That's us with that a lot of, uh, with a lot of shit in our lives. Yeah. That's okay. That's a lot of people in general. Three, two, one. It's like that Dave the Barbarian joke. It's like, you're probably wondering why I tied a squirrel to a microphone. Well, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, we procrastinate about pretty much everything. That's why we're having a problem with climate change. It's like, yeah, we could, we could, we could, we could change all that shit. <laughs> well, we'll we do 18, it tomorrow. We got 18 years to worry about that. We'll get to it later. Yeah, yeah fuck it. Who gives a shit? Who needs to worry about today when you can procrastinate it for tomorrow? Yeah. If you worry about it now, you'll just get stressed out. Very good point. So mm -hmm. why not put your stress for a later point? Stress the details later. You see, stress is like a dollop of butter that you put on a piece of toast. You don't want it to be in one big area. You want to spread it evenly mm -hmm. through your life. Just a little tiny bit of just constant, unending stress yeah. and turmoil. Just a dash of it spread thinly throughout your life mm -hmm. for all of your days. Would you eat a sandwich where it's just a big piece of beef, like a clump of peanut butter in the dead center, but not spread? <laughs> just like a stack of it. Like you, bite into, <laughs> you bite into the bread? And it's just bread, and you don't get any peanut butter until you get to the middle of it. It's basically like a barbell made of bread and peanut butter. <laughs> I, I, I asked this question because I remember seeing a complaint about like a Chipotle place, whatever, where a person made a burrito in like the most awkward way they probably could have, where they divided each piece of the instead of you know putting all the ingredients one on top of the other, you like put down the right. Plate, the cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, all that shit. They put it. They put it one. They didn't put it on top of each other. They put it in like layers next to each other, <laughs> not on top. So someone bit into it and just got a whole bite full of avocado and or sour cream, but nothing else. <laughs> It's like that fucking, like, like Cards Against Humanity card. A burrito that's just sour cream. Yeah. And then, and then, like, he bites into it further. It's like, well, that's tomatoes, I guess. That's <laughs> further. It's like, I finally have gotten to the meat. There's and actually... <laughs> there's actually a review bra video where he uh, reviews the uh, Taco Bell grilled stuff nacho, which is basically this terrible giant nacho with, like, taco ingredients inside of it and he like bits it bites into one corner of it because it's shaped like a nacho and so it's a triangle bites into one corner of it and he gets nothing but sour cream bites into another corner and he gets nothing but meat like two or three pieces of meat and it bites into another corner and he gets like nothing whatsoever it sounds like you're announcing a boxing match <laughs> in and one corner nothing but sour cream <laughs> that'd be a great wrestler just a pile of sour cream with a championship belt. It's a fucking Garbaggio, like, you pick wrestling match or something. It would be Meanwhile, just, in like, just think of the Arizona. idea of biting into something and just having nothing but, like, just a condiment. Like, just bite, just like, a ketchup sandwich. Nothing else. Just, just ketchup. 
It's, it's like those, like, like Burger King had this thing on their website one time where you could completely customize, like, make your own sandwich. Hmm. Like, any, any toppings you want or whatever, and it had a visual representation of whatever the hell it was. And people just started doing horrible, horrible things in it. Like, one guy didn't put, did a sandwich with nothing but mayonnaise between two pieces of bread. And it just looked like a pair of lips that had cum on them. <laughs> <laughs> it horrible. I like the Burger King cum lips special, please. <laughs> Someone um, did that with Domino's or whatever, where um, they ordered, I believe it was non-pizza with left beef. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. we talked about that a long time ago. Yeah, where they basically just like, there was no sauce, no cheese, nothing. It was just, it's just the dough of the pizza and a bunch of like... Meat on the left side of it, they just threw on there, like not even like baked. It's just like just some sausage dangling. On the yeah, they delivered it to him. <laughs> That's the funniest part is they actually delivered it to the guy. The, the, the delivery driver must have been thinking the whole way over. I'm gonna answer the fucking door. It's gonna be a clown standing there <laughs> on the other fucking actually, side of the, the door. The delivery driver probably didn't even know. He probably just got the pizza and was telling the delivery. It's like, all right. He had to have known, because somebody in the back had to have been like, What the fuck is this order? <laughs> the delivery driver, like, peeks his head around. Oh, okay, you're just putting a piece of dough in the fucking oven with nothing on it. Why are you doing that? Man, the customer is always right! <laughs> there was a thing at one of the old, one of the dining halls that we have at uh, our school here. Uh, it was like it's like the old the old vegan dining hall. Oh yeah, wasn't that like Clark or something? Or no, I wasn't Maple. Clark. It was Maple, yeah. But uh, I was eating there. This was, this was years ago at this point, and they had a thing where you could order your own like uh, they didn't call it a sandwich. I forget what it's called. It's like a special kind of sandwich, uh, and. You can custom order it. You, you fill out the little the little sheet of paper, and then you wait for them to call your name, and you come get it. And so they had an option, and I, and I never, I don't think I ever actually followed through with it. But I, I consider just okay. I'm gonna get it. So there's like there's no meat, there's there's no bread or veggies or anything. Just just I just want like avocado sauce on a plate <laughs> as my special sandwich. Someone actually, like, going back to the Burger King thing, someone actually went into a Burger King and ordered on their tray a single packet of mustard. <laughs> they took a picture of it, too. It was just a big-ass tray, and in the center of it, one lonely packet of mustard. Imagine like the original fancy restaurants where they have like the big container or whatever with the steel top. Bon appetit. They bring it open. Like they come out, they come out, they sit down, they lift it. There's up. steam coming out of it for some reason. <laughs> they lift it up. It's just a single packet of. It's like it's just. It's like there's like a bay leaf next to it or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> All the garnishings. Yeah. yeah. Parsley on the side of the plate. Would you like, would you like some shredded cheese, Saya? <laughs> Someone in the thread, because originally it was just someone in the thread who, like, put a single stain of mustard as an order, as a possible order, <laughs> like, and took a picture of it, like, voila, here's your mustard stain. <laughs> and then someone actually went to a real-life Burger King and ordered that. <laughs> so that's what that was. That's the same thread that produced the Noah's Ark Burger, which was a Burger King burger with two of every single kind of meat they had. Oh god. <laughs> so like two burger patties, two chicken patties, two fish patties, two like vegan uh, patties and and etc cetera, etc cetera. and and they brought it home and, and and tried to eat it in front of the fucking camera and they couldn't do it. <laughs> like they they would try to squeeze a sandwich down so that they could bite into it and just mayonnaise would come bursting out of it. The sandwich just comes on their faces. <laughs> come lips. Oh yeah, eat me. 
I was special made just for you, baby. <laughs> The guy who made, oh, this guy, make, this guy named Sethico, this YouTuber, makes like, these, like, short, random, hilarious videos. And there's one where, uh, the, like, the character, like, who portrays on there, Baku, go, like, calls in an order for some food. Um, if anyone is, though, this is the guy who makes the boneless pizza videos. He started that whole thing. Oh, okay. And he makes one where he calls in, like, a sandwich place, and he's all, like, and he's all, like, um... Can I get an LGBT without the BLT? Extra bread, no meat, no cheese. <laughs> and the guy says like, no, no meat, no cheese. So you want the vegan sandwich? And he just throws a fancy fit over him. He's all like, vegan? <laughs> if I come up in there, <laughs> my shit is vegan. <laughs> he's like, you want? They say, like, okay, like you want, you want like extra bread, right? That's right. No meat, no, no cheese. <laughs> Not lying. That's vegan. I never heard nothing. They don't vegan. They never said shit that I can fuck up. <laughs> Did you mean to call it an LGBT sandwich instead of a BLT sandwich? <laughs> I, I, I like to think that, that it's called the LGBT sandwich. <laughs> I want, I want just the, uh, just the G. This is just a dick in a hot bun! <laughs> I'm gonna look that up. I don't even know what actually, what actually is. You're gonna look up a dick in a hot I want bun? The, I, want the, I want the LGBT, <laughs> hold the, the hold, bacon, bacon, okay. lettuce, tomato, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Bisexual, so lesbian, transgender. That's the name of the sandwich. Yes. Black Latino. I don't know. What, what, what's what's uh, what's an ethnicity that starts with a T? Tie. I said ethnicity, not an. Uh, I said ethnicity. We don't consider ties people. Not after what they did. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, they, they they. I mean, you wear those. I hate yeah. tie. I don't wear a tie. I hate tie. Wait, wait, the last time I started to wear a tie was the first day. That was gonna work at my job. That was like. <laughs> Much like the last tie, last day I started to wear a tie was the first day I decided to stop wearing a tie. <laughs> Pretty much. I, it was 2016, I think, or 2017. Um, I. It was my first day at work. I bought a tie, like, the day prior. And, like, I bought like, a, a dress shirt. And I came in, and I had a tie on. And I was sitting in my car, about to go into my workplace, and I looked at myself, I took the tie back off, and I'm like, nope, not wearing this today. Maybe <laughs> get a tie. <laughs> and I've never worn a tie, but I still have the tie. So, like, are you, is it, is it like, are you required to wear business casual? Or something? Uh, pretty, pretty much. So, pretty much, as long as you, as long as you, yeah, as long as you wear, like, a dress shirt and, like, slacks like you're fine like you don't need to wear a tie it's just i brought a tie because i thought it would make me look more professional because you know, i want to make a good first impression but i looked at the mirror and i'm just like i'm not wearing this tie so i just put my shirt up and went in there and i looked and like i was it was fine like i just don't like wearing tie. every time i wear a tie i feel like i'm being strangled yeah I, what you should have done is worn either an extremely short or an extremely long tie in like an oversized suit. <laughs> the suits are expensive, man. I actually need to get another suit tailor, but man. That's why you buy one big suit and then you grow into it. Mm -hmm. You don't need to buy another suit for the rest of your life. That's a problem, Patrick. I did grow into it and now, I'm, now, it's, and now it's too small. I think we underestimated how much I would grow. You drank too much damn milk. <laughs> yeah. Too much Your bones water. are too strong. Too I do a lot of push-ups and sit-ups. And I drink plenty of and juice. Now I'm in, and now I'm in that awkward situation where it's like, I could probably just drop a bunch of weight, and maybe then that would fit better. But when I think about it, it's like, if I drop a bunch of weight, it'll probably be too big then. <laughs> so it's, it's a no-win no situation. I either have a... I don't know why. Also, apparently, suits are supposed to have a very tight fit as well. I don't get that. So, you mean you? You mean you don't understand how being uncomfortable can help you in a professional setting? It, it always helps to know that the guy you're doing business with 
is suffering through his own personal hell. Bummer. But hey, her ass looks kind of nice, so yay! Hooray for her! She, she's getting my money. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Mutual friend of ours is uh, going to law school, and she told she told uh, me about how she cannot go. She is basically forbidden to wear high heels. Meanwhile, some other dude in the class shows up in cowboy boots, and he's allowed. <laughs> what the fuck? But, the women, <laughs> but women cannot wear um, flat tops. They have to wear high heels. So I'm just imagining, like, walking in the court, and, like, some dude just shows up in literal clown shoes. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, what's up, everyone? I'm going to be defending your case today. As you may or may not be able to tell, I am a nonsense judge. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, we can begin our session as soon as I spin the propeller on my beanie. Woo! <laughs> We are totally getting this from Brian Regan, you but... else you know never had a propeller hat? Because <laughs> I've never seen one in real life. Only in cartoons. <laughs> like, I wonder if they actually exist. They fucking better. That, that was the first flying invention. Honey, that is not your yarmulke. You go back in there and you put on your fucking yarmulke. <laughs> no, my yarmulke flew away. <laughs> Oh, I I know just the solution for that. Yeah, maybe we're gonna that's... get rid of all the propellers on all of the future Yamakas, <laughs> and then no one will ever have to suffer well, from this I mean, problem maybe, ever maybe again. Well, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's why you don't see propeller beanies anymore because all the people who were wearing them flew the fuck away. Yeah, when they figured out they could it fly with them. Yeah. It worked. What's the point of a propeller hat? When you think about it, like what enjoyment? So you can fly it... away. But what what enjoyment does it give the person wearing it? They can't see the propeller. It doesn't matter. You know it's there, and you know you always have an escape from any situation. You always have your fucking options covered. You know? <laughs> it's a fucking survivor's hat is what it is. <laughs> Joe Biden's gonna wear one of those at the next debate, and if someone, like, rips his ass 19 feet wide like they've been doing, he'll just twirl the fucking propeller and fly away. <laughs> well, really, wouldn't they just fly off? Like, wouldn't they what just fly off here? your head without you, and you'd just be like... Just wouldn't have it, period. Don't come looking. Oh no, the invader Sam conundrum again. <laughs> some trouble at home? She quit her job. But there's some like there's some serious questions <laughs> to be asked. This here. All about? Like, like you get this propeller hat. The rank and two match just will be a destroy stadium. Can't do it. <laughs> Aren't I a hard working girl? Huh. Not the baseball stadium. Apparently anymore. Sylvia ran away. Okay, Sylvia. Yeah. Only She's wandering years. around the outskirts I'm of Santa to Destroy with a fucking That's like a promise. Stick and a like, like a hobo stick with the fucking knapsack at the end of it. Yeah, it's a real serious situation. Anyway, propeller beanies. <laughs> Did you? Uh... Oh, that's right. You probably. Oh, you probably couldn't get to the katana until after this mission. Right. Yeah, guys. I went to I went to Naomi and I gave her the thing, but she didn't like uh, say there was anything available. Yeah. I, I can I can make sure that I I think I'll stop by there again real quick to make sure that she has the the uh, katana. Not the new not the new one, but the one I picked up as a gift. Make sure I actually gave it to her. Yeah. But I, I mean I went and I initiated conversation, so it should have done it, right? Yeah, see she she was when you when you were talking to her, she said something about, like, Hey, you have a Japanese katana. Where did you get this from? Oh, okay. So she definitely got it from you. Okay. I keep thinking this to rank one fight for some reason. Not quite. Go. <laughs> That's why I told I, you that's to That's why I said jump. to jump. That's yeah, why I said to jump. Yeah, they told okay. you to jump, and then I couldn't, I couldn't see it. what was in front of me. I thought there would, there would be a clear path and there would be stuff later. But... I guess not. Damn it. I, I've done the jump before. I just This is the first time 
They don't actually make you do it until this far in, I guess. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> this is the real boss right here. Don't worry, Patrick. You're only you're only uploading this for the entire world to see. Mm -hmm. They're all gonna watch it. I mean, in theory, the entire world can watch it, but in practice, it's gonna be like three people. We'll see, see, we'll see, we'll see these there we go. But remember, I remember that video of, like, um, those kids who made the video said, I guess, Fortnite overrated, and you look at their videos, like, their views, and it's like, they have, like, maybe, maybe, like, a hundred views on, like, their videos, but then that video comes out, and they've got, like, 20k plus in Rising, and they don't know why, and it's all because of the thumbnail, just three like 10 year old kids sitting down on the couch all looking philosophical asking is fortnite overrated you know i think we know what the thumbnail is going to be for this video <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the inspiration wait do i say that to like you probably had to jump over it again <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That's some uh, bullshit. Bullshit. Shit. Unfortunately, Travis cannot jump over, cannot like hop <laughs> over small objects. This is like watching Patrick really? try to. This is like watching him try to do taxi <laughs> missions in Vice City. <laughs> it's not even fucking letting me. Here, here. You do it. No. You do I'm it. I'm not playing it. You fuck you. You put that down. I'm not going to try it. I don't even know how to jump. <laughs> oh, you weren't reading the instructions when it told me right there that you pointed out? It's no. very complicated. <laughs> okay, but you're just going to sit here and criticize. Yeah, you, you Cause it's like a fucking game, motherfucker. Normally it doesn't even cuz like it normally doesn't even let me jump over that. To get into places. Maybe there are places like that. I wasn't going fast enough for that one. Shit. Seeing this slight obstacle reminds me of um, probably my least favorite part of the Ninja Gaiden game on, P on uh, Xbox slash PS3. Yeah. There's a part where Ryu Hayabusa has to get past this gate to get to like this... Um, it's like this museum building or whatever, or like this artifact is held. But, um, the gate's too tall for him to jump over. The thing is, though, is that the gate's probably like 10 feet tall. It's something he could easily jump over if it was a cutscene. But gameplay-wise, he can't. So instead, what you do is, he go, you I can't go even turn. I can turn sharply enough. Two levels. <laughs> you nearly just jumped right into the oh, dumpster. Wow. <laughs> That's where I belong, my true home. I felt the call of the wild. I don't think you need that much, like, just to just, like, get, like, just start, try getting, like, directly in front of it. So is the number two assassin just, like, watching you going, how in the fuck did this guy get to number three and he can't fucking, like, navigate over this, <sighs> this, this bar that goes up to his waist, basically? <laughs> Like, can you just like, break you know, the bar? <laughs> well, I can't. I can't get my baton out. Oh, you can't out. even. Uh. I'm just imagining, like, um, just imagine, like, someone watching this, like, the number two assassin. He slayed countless men and women. Like, none can stand his path. Like, you cut to this. It's just like just crashing repeatedly. He's like, damn it, I can't. Uh. Maybe if I, damn it. God, it takes a long time to actually get in the air, too, is a problem. Just try, just the try fuck? Like, Why? In front of it. Like, just, like, get your bike and just back up in front of it, like, as best you can. That's what I was doing earlier, and I couldn't get enough speed. Like, weren't you farther up? Weren't you, like, close too close, though? Can you get to that back wall? Like, I wasn't sure if you were, like, at the back wall or not. Okay, the back wall. Okay, now he does it. Bad. I'm a bad girl. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty nice intro, though. If it wasn't annoying to get to it. 
Oh, okay, now I'm... Okay. <laughs> I, I, I like where this is going. I like this, yeah. The thing, all these times that you're, like, using your guitar, you can just run over people. Yeah. Daddy, what's he doing to our baseball team? <laughs> well, sir, he's putting them in their place, whatever more. This is what they get for sucking so much this season. <laughs> Shit about Daddy, our treasure chest! Okay, so are are they just gonna keep spawning or what's the that, that's it, yeah, it's, it's a better way out. Just kill them all. That's it. Okay. Kill all nineteen eighty nine. Yeah, just, just run to them. Yeah, just run to them. Well, what you want reason to you want reason to want motivation for what you're gonna get to count this people? <laughs> what's my motivation in this scene, Mr. Spielberg? Uh there are baseball players on the field other people who are currently living and you are also on the field on a really fast bike what more motivation do you need man this just this, this, this turned into bowling instead they're, of baseball they're vulnerable you have tires and, and suspension so you're just just let loose they're vulnerable you have tires so take them, take them on a date, and 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 manipulate them into letting you fuck them. Yeah, because like they're vulnerable, and you can easily manipulate them in that state because of the implication. Mm -hmm. I wonder if any of these like baseball players who have stood here and watched you kill a hundred guys are like, nah, man, it, it's gonna be me. I'm gonna be the one that gets it. I got this shit. I'll be the one. Yep. Yes, like a trading card. The things I do for trading cards. Oh, excuse me. I left my blue eyes white dragon out here. Can I just like drive over like a hundred of you and go get it, please? Thank you. <laughs> I mean, that's totally something Kaiba will do. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ky doesn't Kaiba even drive a motorcycle at one point in the anime? Or, wait, wasn't that tr or was that Tristan? I think Tristan. that was Tristan. That was Tristan. Yeah, the other asshole that wears a trench coat and has weird hair. It's okay. He ditched the trench coat later on for a biker jacket. Oh yeah, he's cool. He's totally not forgettable as fuck now. <laughs> They should be- that character should be thanking God every day for Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, pulling his character out of total obscurity. Just making him Barney. Even I know Tristan. <laughs> At least from the Abridged series. And- and- and whereas in the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! you barely remember him, even if you're a big fan of the show. He actually has very little role. He has a bigger role in the Abridged series than he does in his- <laughs> Damn. Because he- Yeah! <laughs> He doesn't. He just kind of. He doesn't duel anymore. I don't. I actually don't remember if he ever play. If he ever plays a game at all. Like, like, at, like, at, like, I know he doesn't play. But I mean, I don't know. I don't think there's an episode where he just plays it for fun. Like even Taya duels at some point. Yeah, she duels Mai in that one episode where Yugi's all bummed out after he. After Kaiba made him forfeit the match against him and shit, you know, like threatened to kill I, himself. And then my loses. I tell you, I do know uh, Tristan did duel once in a filler episode, or during a filler arc, and that's how he lost his body and became a robot monkey for a little bit. Because he sucks at duel monsters. He sucks so bad at a game, he fucking digressed into a, a simian. <laughs>